In the eight years since Evanston's plan was put in place to end homelessness, over 6,000 formerly homeless individuals have been housed. Edmonton, in 2008, uh, we started work on a 10-year plan to end homelessness. Really a game changer, you know, so we said managing homelessness wasn't the answer, we needed to end homelessness, which required us to do things differently. So at the core of the 10-year plan to end homelessness is this concept called housing first, which says you can't expect somebody to deal with their underlying issues that may have caused them to become homeless unless they have the stability and safety of a roof over their heads. And so it's housing first, not housing only. Homeless is complex, meaning there's no right or wrong answers. You know, we often only know what works looking in the rear view mirror. You know, initially, our initial reaction to this issue was just to use enforcement. And what we found very quickly that that wasn't a complete answer, because all that happened was we were just moving the homeless from, say, the river valley to the top of the bank and, and around and around it went. So we really weren't solving the problem, we were just moving the problem. The only way to deal with a complex issue is through collaboration. A collaborative approach is really essential to addressing a complex issue such as homelessness. It's important to have a range of perspectives and skill sets to effectively address homelessness. And so Citizen Services works closely with other areas of city operations, including housing and homelessness, city park rangers, bylaw and peace officers, fire rescue services, and Edmonton Police Services. In addition to that, we work with a range of community partners, including Boyle Street Community Services, Homeward Trust Edmonton, and Reach Edmonton. Individuals experiencing homelessness um, sometimes need a range of supports and services to ensure that they are successful in remaining housed. The balanced approach that we've taken with the Homeless on Public Lands Committee is ensuring that we're balancing three key factors. The first is having a dignified and respectful approach to people that are homeless. The second is being really responsible environmental stewards of our parks and river valleys. And the third is ensuring that we have, um, that the parks and public spaces are safe for all citizens of Edmonton. So the street outreach team, they're the boots on the ground. They go out five days a week and they connect with folks who are sleeping rough all throughout our city. So in the streets, river valleys, parks, and they connect with folks first thing in the morning. They're often the first people that uh, someone who's camping will see. They'll come by and check and make sure they're all right. Do you need some water or something to eat, uh, a pair of socks, mitts? and then they go from there and try to build a relationship with the person and see what their needs are and how to meet those goals working alongside them. So the Homeless on Public Land Committee is unique in that we take a collaborative approach. So we work with the street outreach teams as well as EPS and the River Valley Rangers to create a collaborative approach to solving homelessness on public land. Yeah, city operations uh, comes in at the tail end of the process. Um, we take care of the waste that's left behind in uh, homeless encampments. City operations has a goal of making our parkland and our public lands approachable for citizens, a usable space for recreation. Uh, so our overarching goal is zero waste uh, on public land, um, and that's the approach we take. 